The city of Jodhpur is a rich cultural experience. The main historic center is a picture perfect view from the fort. The fort stands guard over the city like a sentinel. The blue city or the sun city as it is known is a perfect mix of warm hues with a contrast of indigo. The area chosen for the year 2014 was the settlement around the Gulab Sagar Lake. It is a mix of bazaars, streets, lake edges, other water bodies, residential areas, schools and temples. The narrow winding streets of the walled city are an evolution into the era of automobiles. The auto rickshaws are tweaked for easy movement into the old city. However, narrow roads and lack of parking facilities is a curse for privately owned vehicles. In spite of this, the traffic movement was mostly even. Katla Bazaar Square hosts the entrances of two temples whose shikharas dominate the skyline. The square itself was a space for cultural gatherings which now has become the part of a busy market. It is intercepted by a road with shops on the edges and some parking. The older temple is the Kunj Bihari temple which was built along with the monastery which now form the shops on the square. The Alkeshwar temple is a relatively recent addition to this square. Rajmahal School which was earlier Rajmahal Garden Palace and Nathji Temple constructed in early 19th century as Gulab Bai's residence is a beautiful campus the structure towards the lake is a leisure pavilion since 1915 it has been Rajmahal senior secondary girls school traffic ill maintenance unused spaces and deteriorating structures are some of the main problems in the complex Bachcha Chowk is a quiet public square on the edge of Gulab Sagar Lake with a children's play area and a few residences. There is a large open drain about 400 meters long that runs between the Bachcha Chowk and the Raj Mahal School. Eighty to hundred years or older houses of Umed Chowk neighborhood are different. from the relatively recent houses of Chauhan Ji Ka Nora Umeed Chowk is the busiest point of the neighborhood which lies on the way to the Mehrangarh Fort as in all historic cities all houses have central courtyards which play an important role for ventilation and light all the houses have stepped terraces which provide a magnificent view of the Mehrangarh Fort the facades are well decorated with articulated stone carvings and exquisite brackets addition of iron and steel railings is seen in recent years gulab sagar lake is one of the major water bodies of jodhpur's famous water systems the area around the lake is a mixed use neighborhood supporting a variety of cultural religious and socially important traditions like cows birds and fishes being fed the bachcha jalra invisible unseen lost in oblivion and often ignored by the people makrana mahalla is one of the oldest areas in the walled city of jodhpur the ancient step well in the area tuver ji ka jalra is surrounded by a recent surge in a lot of havelis being converted to high end hotels the land around these water bodies is considered dev bhumi and hence supports various social and religious activities but cleanliness has been ignored with sewage and garbage being pumped into them and the edges vastly littered with garbage and cow dung their potentials remain largely unrealized Cleanliness and sacredness do not go hand in hand for this place. The garbage, the open drains, the animals that roam freely on the streets are the main problems 
faced by the residents and business owners of the historic city center. The cows, though sacred, do not have a designated space where they can be fed and taken care of. This is heightened by lack of awareness amongst people, lack of systematic cleaning, and absence of public forums for action. Every city is characterized by its people. The historic city center of Jodhpur is the home to many skilled artisans. They are the makers of beautiful lac bangles, bamboo artifacts, leather goods, mattresses, home decor items, and tie and dye cloth that contribute to the vibrancy of the place. The historic city center is thus a picture of dichotomy of tradition and modernity, color and chaos, attractiveness and repulsiveness, artistic expertise and environmental ignorance, coexisting as an urban heritage that deserves not only to be conserved, but also to be nurtured and encouraged to attain its full potential. Hey,